everyone, it's Megan from The Pro Team and I'm here with the lovely Rebecca. Hi. Do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, so I'm Rebecca and I'm one of our Dublin tutors in the academy. So I teach all the students. She is absolutely unreal. Like I've learned Thanks. like loads from her from just like <laughs> sitting down today. Um, but if you want to see how we recreated this look, just keep watching. We use the new CSEA palette, so I'll show you now. Um, so it's just this one here and I actually use some new products um, so I'm not going to tell you what it is you have to watch the video um, if you want to find out what they are um, but they are really really nice so keep watching so we're firstly going to go in with the shade 263 so that is the yellow shade you can see that it's like really worn down it's loved already I'm going to go in with my blending brush and I'm just going to start to pack this into the crease so I'm building that right into the crease because I'm doing a half cut crease as well I'm making sure to bring it right into the inner corner and my brush is literally just doing the work for me. You said this is your brush is your favourite, isn't my it? My favourite brush. It is for everything. Next, I'm taking the shade 277, so just the purple shade on my 6SS. This is my favourite one. My yeah, favorite she is obsessed with this one. I love it so much. And I'm just going to build this again into the crease, not bringing it as high up as my last shade. Working that right in. So because I want to really build it up, I literally keep going back and forth with that shadow. So just grabbing some more on my brush and building it. So I don't really care if I get any of that shadow on the lid because I'm going to be cutting it out with gel liner anyway. But I want to focus on the blend on the outside so I'm just going to keep doing my little back and forth motions. I love it. I love it. So as I said, Rebecca is actually a tutor um, for our academy. What's like your best tip for blending? Um, so a light hand for blending and a fluffy brush so make sure that your brush has loads of hairs and loads of movement but it's still nice and dense and just a really light hand the lighter the better until you become like more confident and practice practice makes perfect so i'm taking my 10s now and that purple shade just to really build that purple up this is megan's favorite brush <laughs> I, I like i think i just come with like 10s on it's my so forehead small, like and I just like to use this to pack on the colour and then blend it out. So it's literally the same colour. And because the purple is mixing with the yellow, it starts to go like orangey at the top. Um, so it nearly looks like you're using way more colours than you are. So I know I'm going to be putting some gel liner here, so that's why I'm kind of going around in a little semicircle nearly. Just saves the work, doesn't it? Probably yeah. to take it back off. Going back into my 6 SS and literally just blending that edge off. I feel like it's showing Spongebob in like 10 <laughs> hours later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is that what it is? 12 hours, hours later. later. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's like that because I just keep blending. Going back in with my first brush I used and I'm just going to blend out that yellow. So I take it on the edge of my purple just to really soften it out and to give that like seamless blend. And I'm really blending that in the inner corner. Again, going in with 10S. And I'm going to take the black shade from the CSEA palette. And I'm just going to start to build this on the outer corner. So it's handy with the CSEA palette that the numbers are actually on the palette. and um, So you know which one you're using. Because where are old shades, like you just have to take it out of the palette to see. So I think that's pretty handy. I'm just following the steps I took with the other shade. So kind of bringing it up over the crease. Um, just so it saves me having to clean loads on the lid. I'm patting my colours on rather than blending straight away because that's when they can start to go a bit mucky. Nothing left on my brush at the moment. I'm going to start to blend that out. But I'm not over blending because that's when it will go mucky. You just kind of lose the intensity yeah. and it is it. Now going in with our new gel liner, so number 61. It is a fab like lilac shade. I'm obsessed. So fast. It's so nice. So I just put it on the lid on this side. So that's what I'm using to cut out the crease. These can be used as a base. They are smudge proof, waterproof. It's literally like 77 gel liner. So I'm just taking a little lip brush. It's what I like to use to cut out my crease. And I'm going to start on the inner corner first. So I just take a little bit by little bit. Um, I don't want to rush it because obviously if you make one like wrong move, game over. But I just like to take my time with it. So obviously you can use different things to carve out the crease, like people use concealer, yeah. so like people use concealer or some people use Duraline, it's just totally up to yourself. 
I find when you use like a different color base as well, it always pops a little bit more. So you don't want like a harsh gap in between here and here. So you just kind of want to pull the gel liner back in towards the inner corner. So just make your job easier blending the shadows back onto that face. I'm now going to take 334 shadow on the same brush. I'm just going to set that um, on the lid. The gel liner will dry down matte, but I always just like to put a shadow on it just in case. I'm now taking that purple shade again on my 10S. So I'm just kind of dragging it down. Just so that you have a blend in between the gel liner and the black shadow where it meets. And I do kind of bring it onto the lash line as well. Next I'm taking 76 gel liner which is our white gel liner. And I'm taking this on a 12S so this is a lip brush. You can see how thin it is there. You don't breathe during this part. <laughs> Literally. And I'm just kind of following where I cut the crease. Some people can do this in just like Two one seconds. motion, like yeah, I don't know how. I just think it adds a little touch to it. Just a little something, something. I'm now moving on underneath the eye, so I'm going to take the yellow on my 48SS. And I'm just blending that right underneath the eye and connecting it to the outer corner. And I'm bringing this far down, um, just because it is a festival look. And I'm just taking the red shade then from the CC palette. And I'm just putting that right at the lash line. I'm now going to take 62 gel liner, so another one of our new ones. I think this is my favourite one. Is yours? So nice. Um, yeah. It's like a neon greeny yellow shade. It's so, so nice. And especially because neon's really in at the moment. Again, on a lip brush, I'm just going to pop this into the waterline. So I'm going to let that dry for a second and then go in with another coat of it just so that it's really, really vibrant. I'm now going to apply some mascara to the top and bottom lashes, so I'm just going to get it to look up for me. I'm going to go in with some lashes now, so I'm using the... Do the YouTube thing. <laughs> <laughs> using a 30N lash. Um, it's one of my favourite lashes from Inglot because they're so fluffy and... So wispy. Yeah, they're wispy at the edges. So I've measured it and I'm just going to pop it in the centre first. And then do my edges. So I'm now taking some 74 ends, but we've actually cut them so that they're going to be bottom lashes. So we've just applied them one, two, three here. Get Rebecca to look up. I'm going underneath the lash and just placing it right underneath. Like so. For some like finishing touches, we're going to go in with our stars. So I actually went in with our new body art adhesive. So if this is only eight euro. We'll stick down stuff like this if you've any gems or anything like that, and um, without using something harsh on your skin like duo glue. And all your like glitters and stuff like art glitters, I'll stick those down as well for festival season. Taking a bullet brush and some of that adhesive, and I'm just gonna place it in little dots where I want to put the stars. So I'm taking my little white star first. I was literally putting it opposite to where the other ones are. So I'm going to start to put them in the same pattern. Applying some of that art adhesive into the inner corner again. And I'm just going to have an inner corner highlight. So I'm going in with 75 pigment, which is a white. And I'm just applying that in the inner corner. So because I put that um, little adhesive on first, um, it's going to come out really, really pigmented. Intense. Yeah. So that is like the finished look there. Um, I could have went with like some crazy kind of like lines and dots on the face, but I think that's just like nice and enough. I think um, minimalistic. I wasn't gonna say simple, but um, <laughs> less is more sometimes. Yeah, so. I just don't want to go too like over the top with all that kind of mad detail stuff. And um, but I just like how that turned mm -hmm. out. I'd actually wear that like normally, maybe a bit browns, but I think that's yeah, it's cute, isn't fab. it? Fab. Yeah, you can take those steps with any colors as well. It doesn't have to be those exact colors, but. I'm happy with it. Thanks to Rebecca for being my model. <laughs> and we have plenty of looks on our channel, loads of festival ones, more simple makeup looks. And um, so if you want to subscribe to our channel, um, and if you did enjoy this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave a little like down below. And um, my name on Instagram is Megan Darty22. If you want to see any more of my looks, and Rebecca's name is Rebecca Cannon11. So 11. 11. <laughs> one one. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I will see you in the next video.